In our last Hazelwood build video, we backfilled around our house foundation. It really opened up the area around the building and site and encourages us to press on. We do have a large mound of leftover fill that we have available to improve our driveway with, and I keep telling everyone, don't worry, it will get used. We're gonna focus next on installing our septic system for the house. Before we can do that, we need to move one of the temporary solar panel banks as it is currently located right where the septic system's drain field needs to be. Come along with us as we continue our homesteading adventure today. Yesterday, Karen and I were out here and we staked out where we thought the septic system needed to go. And we realized that uh, our initial um, location, which was over sitting ab right in the middle of the picture here, uh, was too close to the river. Uh, so we had to back that off to make sure that our setback um, was far enough. But then we realized um, that uh, the new location is going to require a couple trees to come down and that solar uh, array is going to need to be moved, uh, which is fine. Uh, it was always a temporary location anyway, but uh, anyway, we gotta, we're going to spend some time today clearing trees and uh, maybe starting to take that uh, panel apart and relocate it. Karen's going to come through here and go clipping all of our uh, zip ties that hold the wiring up into the panel. We're pulling all the, the wires off. You can kind of see like this. So we can take the panels down. I need to take this uh, disconnect box apart. It's uh, shut off here, but it's also shut off all the way on the other end over at the side of the building over there. So it's uh, totally dead. The only power being generated here is in the panels themselves and they're uh, all taken apart now. Um, so we're fairly safe. Yeah. Had a family of bees making yes, their nest. Do. Ooh, there's bees alive in there. Oh no. Oh, where's that bee killer? Uh, in the greenhouse. I'll be right back. So after liberally spraying down the panel with bee killer, uh, I got to work taking it all apart, really just un undoing all the wires and disconnecting everything from the box so that the panel is no longer connected to the conduit. You're gonna go ahead and unscrew these panels here. Um, I'm a little hesitant. I was thinking about unscrewing this one, and then you can take the first one out. Then you unscrew that one, you take the second one. Let's see if we can take the two out. I was checking the wire. Ooh. Come back over here under the sub. Finish this. Okay. You start taking off wood and stuff. You want me to start taking wood apart? I think so. Um, 
I mean, I don't think that we can move this thing as a whole. <clears throat> I think it's way too heavy. Even the base? Maybe if we had six guys. <laughs> we had that we, yesterday. We missed our we? opportunity yesterday. We did have a group of friends uh, here yesterday, and we had six six guys. We we could have moved it. And one of our friends is an is a tree cutter arborist, and that tree's got to go. So, <laughs> oops, missed opportunity. I think we have to take it apart. I think if we take these and off an, and these off and, and the angle and maybe the backs, maybe we can get the bottom all in one shot. So with our plan in place, we got to work taking apart the structure and uh, getting it down to a manageable size. After we get this done, we gotta get the chainsaw out and get that tree cut down. It's going the wrong way. Crap! Why don't we wrap a, a rope around it? Well, that's a major bummer. It's wanting to fall the wrong way. What do we do now? Well, we had plenty of strap and chain and other types of uh, pulling equipment. So I just got a ladder and climbed up the tree as far as I could uh, reach, wrapped a strap around it, stretched the strap out, in the direction that I wanted it to go and hooked up to it with my truck. I was a little bit rattled there, just wanting to make sure that I got this thing taken down before it fell down on its own. Um, didn't even think about what I was doing, moving the camera, getting it all set up for a great shot. Yeah. At this point, I actually thought the camera was off, so I just repositioned the camera stand out of the way so it wouldn't get hit when the tree came down. It is, <laughs> but it wasn't quite aimed the right way. Uh, well, you'll just have to take my word for it. The tree came down, went right where it was supposed to go. It was a magnificent crash. It was all dead wood and just kind of exploded on impact. Well, back to this task of moving the solar panel stand. We had it all stripped down to just the base, and I figured, let's give it a try and see if we can get that uh, moved over to the new location. Well, we got the back of the rack stood up 
and then got some braces on it so that it wouldn't fall over, started putting it back together. We got all of the vertical rails reattached and then we put the horizontal rail across the bottom. Once we had this done, we were able to begin loading the structure with our panels. This new location for this array is actually a, a more optimal place in that it allows us to catch more morning sun than we have in the past. Now with our three arrays, we have one array that is really tuned more for the morning sun, one that gets good exposure during the middle of the day, and one that gets um, some additional exposure during the evening hours. With this array repositioned, we're now ready to dig our septic field. So I'm here this morning at Kind Equipment picking up an excavator. We're gonna dig the septic today. We'll try to get that tank buried and we'll get the field dug. All right, ready for another day of work. Shut up! Who's out coming out to help Grandpa? There is a tractor here. Yeah. Should we drive the tractor today? Well, we got to work digging the holes. We had to dig the trench away from the building over to where the tank was gonna go, uh, and then uh, dig the hole for the tank itself. Um, Kyle also spent some time pulling out a stump of one of the trees that we cut down uh, just to get it out of our way. It was a pretty big monster of a thing. The little tractor could barely handle it. While Kyle was digging in the tractor, I went ahead and got the uh, transit set up so that we could uh, shoot elevations and know exactly how deep our uh, tank needs to go um, and our field. Uh, understanding those measurements of the depth uh, of the bottom of those different holes um, is really important to make sure that everything comes together and slopes uh, the way you want it to slope so that it all flows in the right direction. With the holes dug, now it's time to go get this septic tank, bring it over and see how it fits in the hole. See if it'll fit.
I wish I could say, and that's how it's done, but that's not how it's done. The problem was that we really hadn't prepared our hole anywhere near as well enough. Uh, and so the tank wasn't level. Um, it was, didn't have a good solid footing in the hole. We ended up trying to pull it out. Uh, I broke a strap, dropped it back into the hole, thought, oh, maybe we can just dig it out and we'll dig underneath it. We'll lift one end up and try to level it while it's still in the hole. Uh, yeah, all of that was for nothing. Um, we could not get the tank to sit level. So we ended up doing what we really should have done from the get-go, which was pull the tank back out, dig the hole a little bigger, prepare the foundation of the tank um, so that it was perfectly level, and then reset the tank back in there. Yeah, we dinked around with this thing for probably an hour, hour and a half, and then finally did what we should have done. And uh, I'm happy to say the second time it went in just fine. Oh well, you'll live and learn. Well, with the tank in the right location and at the right elevation, we're able to take the tractor now and put dirt around it just to kind of lock it in place. We obviously can't backfill over the top of the tank completely. Uh, the inspector has to see it. In addition, you've got plumbing that has to happen. There are inlet lines, outlet lines, and risers that go to the top of the tank so you can access the tank later after it has been fully buried. Well, with our tank set now, the next objective that we have to accomplish while we have the tractor here today is to dig the drain field itself. The drain field needs to be a little bit lower than the tank outlet so that uh, the liquid will flow from the tank out into the field and then seep back into the soil. Seven feet. Oh, 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 oh. That's right, I keep forgetting about how high that is. You'd think figuring out the elevation would be an easy thing. Sometimes we have so many things going on in our heads that uh, we find it difficult to communicate. We went around for a little bit trying to figure out. Uh, the elevation because we wanted to respect the elevation of the around surrounding soil and make sure we didn't have too much fill going over the top of our field. We had to get at least below the outlet of the septic tank um, and we finally came up with a solution. It's got to be based on the, the depth of the inlet hole or the outlet hole. Yeah. It's got to flow out and down. Yeah, this is at the this is at that seven foot mark. So I need to be a little deeper than that. I don't know if you have to be deeper than that. I have to be. If that's seven foot right there, don't you think I should be eight feet over here? That's where. That's about where you are. 
like where I really want it. Because I'm going to have at least six, six inches of rock under my pipe. Yep. And then I've got the, the pipe, is, if it's if six inches lower than the tank, I'd be okay with that. Eight feet. More like nine feet. That's probably a little too deep. Nine feet and a ten. So for seven there, let's do eight. That's where we want to be. Okay. It's all fill all filling in a little bit. Well, the tank is set, the trench looks good, the elevation is dead on. Kyle did a great job helping me get that leveled out. We're ready for sewer rock, but that's a job for a different day and a different piece of equipment. We're ready to take this machine back and uh, celebrate the win. In our next video, we'll be bringing in sewer rock and getting a skid steer to take it down and put it in the hole, get it placed, leveled out, and then we'll be installing all our pipe and be ready to call for an inspection. See you next time, and God bless.